Hi guys and welcome to your daily reading for Monday the 2nd of September 2019. I'm going to use the numerology guidance cards for today's reading. So this is not a tarot deck, it's a 44 card deck of oracle cards, guidance cards. So let's have a look at what these cards want you to be aware of and what energy you'll be working with. So I love this background, isn't that beautiful? So usually I pull three cards and they give me a sense of what's going to happen for you or what the energy is like on that day. And then usually I count the numbers of the tarot cards and I put them together and I get the numerology vibration that way. Today we're going to focus on the energy and on the vibration mainly through the numerology. So let's see what the cards have to offer. 27, spiritual partnership. Lovely. 22, master number of the builder, intuition. Awesome. And then, awesome. And then 99, compassion. Oh, I love this. All right. So first of all, 2 and 7 is 9. Nine is spirituality and completion. And you've got one triangle pointing down and another triangle pointing up and then a, another triangle being created by these two triangles. So the triangle pointing up is earth reaching up to spirit and this is water, spirit, pouring down and meeting your needs and giving you what you're asking for. So it's a spiritual partnership. You're completely intertwined. You're the triangle pointing up. The higher self, the higher power is the triangle pointing down. You're totally interlinked today and you can receive special emotional and spiritual truths about yourself and your life and who you are because of your spiritual partnership. So take a step back, look at your life, see what you love and what you don't love, see what your spiritual partnership is offering you and saying, hey, why don't you try this and see if it makes sense. Or if it, the spiritual partnership, the message says, hey, why don't you get rid of this? It would free up your time and you could put something else in your schedule instead. So, Having a connection with a higher power is really, really important because the spiritual partnership today is going to give you a gift. This is like the ace of cups, I would say, that allows you to progress spiritually. If you listen to the quiet message that comes in today and really embrace it and put it into practice, that's going to be super helpful. And it's a gift. And the universe has much better things in store for you than you could even imagine, okay? So the best possible life you can imagine, the universe has something 10 times better in store for you. And that's why it's wise to have a spiritual partnership because you can have the best life possible. I was an agnostic slash atheist until the age of 29 and my life ended up in the gutter. Once I decided that there is a higher power and I am not it. And I kind of humbled myself a little bit and I started to become teachable and listen to instructions. That's when my life started to somewhat work. So if you're someone who whose life really isn't working in all areas, love, money, health, you may not feel like you have the energy to change any of that and that's why spiritual partnership is so important because it gives you the power to make changes in your life because change is hard change is blood and guts you know we don't as human beings we don't fundamentally change i don't feel that unless it's very very dramatic like with me um at the end of 29, something really drastic had to happen for me to change my tune. 
and to become willing to learn. Now, at the center of this is 22, and 22 is the master number of the builder, and it's your intuition. So, your spiritual partnership comes in as intuition. So, that's how the higher power speaks to you today. So, when the phone rings, and you're hearing it ring, and there's no caller ID or anything, it's an old school phone, and you know, hey, that's Sandy calling me, you pick up the phone, and you're like, hello, and it's like, hey, hey, whatever, it's Sandy here. So that's the kind of simple, banal example of having intuition of what's going to happen. But in this case, the spiritual partnership gives you guidance in terms of how you can build something practically that's going to be in your life that you have total control over and that you really enjoy and something that's going to be a long permanent fixture in your life. Because 22 is rock solid. It's like Saturn. It stays in your life for a while. So if you're someone who's totally lost in terms of work or romance relationship or money or anything, apply this partnership and your intuition to that problem and say, universe, what is it that I need to what is it that I need to change? Help me. What's the most important thing to change? What should I focus on first? Where do I even begin? And you'll start to get messages. Finally, we've got 99. Nine is spirituality and completion. And that we've got that twice is really, really get in touch with spirit. It's very important. Also, nine and nine is 18. 1 and 8 is 9, so it comes back to 9. 9 is spirituality and completion, and it's compassion. So remember that this partnership with spirit, yes, it gives you guidance, but it also has total compassion for you, and it knows what you've gone through. So you know when you pray, and you're like, um, please, please, dear God, please allow me to make enough money to keep a roof over my head. Dear God, um, please send me a, a, a soulmate. That's the kind of praying where the universe, what the universe knows what you need anyway. The universe knows that you need money and that you need love and that you need the basic things that every human being needs. So by praying that way, you're kind of creating more longing. It's just, you're just creating more waiting for yourself. Affirmative prayer is much better because you're acting as if it's already happened. So you can say, universe, thank you for having the compassion to tell me that I need to change my job and showing me what that job, what the new job is. I know someone at the moment who wants to change their existing job, but they don't know what they want to do next. So that's a problem. Or you can ask, what am I supposed to do with relationships? And the universe will have the compassion to give you the guidance through your intuition to tell you how you can build something long term and solid. So it's whatever is missing in your life today, wherever there's some sort of a gap or a hole in your soul, something that isn't fulfilling you, work or where you live or your family or your lack of a family or your health or your life purpose or your job. If any of those things are less than enjoyable, then you can rely on your spiritual partnership, your intuition and the compassion of the universe to guide you out of this less than perfect situation and to take you by the hand and to lead you into a situation that's going to be permanent and long term and wonderful. And because lots of different people with lots of different um, priorities watch this if you're a young woman 25 and you're thinking about moving and relationships then 
connect with spirit in the morning and say, universe, where should I move to and where am I going to find the right guy? The intuition on this day, on Monday the 2nd, will be there. It'll come in. You'll get some sort of a message. If you're 79 and you're retired and you're saying, I don't feel like I have a purpose. My kids are grown. What should I do next? Universe. Your connection with the higher power will say, you're here for a reason. You're not done yet. And the next thing I would like you to focus on is, could be doing your art or finding a new relationship or um, selling the house and downsizing or upsizing or whatever it is. But the universe is going to give you the answers through your intuition in a compassionate, loving way so that you no longer have to suffer difficult circumstances, but you can replace them with joyous, happy, positive circumstances. Because the universe loves you and it wants you to have a wonderful life. So it's not going to give you horrible situations when you make the effort to connect with it. It's going to say, yes, I'm connected to Sally or Elizabeth or Melissa or Gregory or Thomas or Benjamin. And because Benjamin has made an effort to connect with me, his higher power, I'm going to shower him with abundance and love and compassion. And this is going to be an amazing partnership where he can then create and manifest his ideal life. Now, bear with me on the numbers, okay? <laughs> um, 99 and 27 is going to be 126. 126 and 22 is 146. 148. 148 is 13. 1 and 3 is 4. And 4 is about structure and stability. So, you can see that this Star of David, six-pointed star, is in all of these cards. So you have a spiritual partnership in each one of these cards. And as long as you listen to that, you can be the emperor, like the emperor in the tarot, who doesn't doubt himself for one single split second, and who uses the energy of the ram to bulldoze his way forward to get to the position of being the emperor, and he creates something long lasting and permanent. So just ask yourself, what is missing in my life? What do I think about that I would love to have? And then use affirmative prayer and say, universe, first of all, thank you for showing me that it's the boyfriend that's missing. Then I'm going to use affirmative prayer and say, dear universe, thank you for sending me the perfect soulmate. And then listen to the steps you get in your mind's eye, or you hear, or you feel. I should be at this concert in the park today at five o'clock. No one I know is going, but I should be there. So you go there because you just feel it. And you just happen to be spotted by the soulmate. And you bump into each other at the ice cream stand. And um, you form a relationship. I always marvel at how easy um, straight people have it. And I always marvel at the way when straight people see the way gay life works, they think it's so easy. So for me, as a gay person, I think straight people have it so easy. They can just go into a bar and if they like the look of someone, they can say, hey, do you want to go out on a date? I could never do that. If I go up to a man and say that, I mean, these days it's better. But in the 80s, if I went up to a guy in a bar and said, hey, do you want to go on a date? I may, may have been attacked, you know? So I find that much easier for for straight people. Where, whereas straight people find it funny that I can just go on a dating app and meet people and say, do you want to go out? And they're like, yeah, let's meet up. And it's as simple as that. And they're like, oh, if only if it was that easy. But... 
It just goes to show that everyone struggles with something. And like Wayne Dyer used to say, there's a spiritual solution to every problem. And just the spirit already knows about your problem anyway. Just say, the problem is this, please help me with it. That's the key to ask for help and you'll be given the guidance through your intuition. If you're blocked, or if you feel like you can't listen to your inner guidance, your higher self, then that's what people like me are for, to kind of be the intermediary until you have that meditation practice in place and you can hear your guidance properly. If, if you struggle, then get in touch with me for a personal reading, because when I draw up your astrology chart, I can see everything about you, your life purpose, your vocational aptitudes, money, relationships, love, spiritual progress, travel, moving, career, how you get on with other people, fame, um, spiritual progress. I also use the tarot and the predictive astrology and numerology in my personal readings. And, I, and I'm an intuitive reader, so I look at the symbols that I get and I also listen to my intuition as it comes in while I'm deciphering the symbols. And that way I get a really nice overview of who you are and what's going on and how you can fill that hole in the soul. So if you're struggling to hear your own guidance, which is always going to be the best, then get in touch with me and we can put you on the right track. And then at least you can start to work towards the spiritual partnership and towards having compassion for yourself. So that's a, that's a way of being kind and loving to yourself. If you are lost, ordering a reading, which can possibly give you a direction, that's a way of self-caring. That's a way of taking care of yourself and saying, I'm lost, I'm going to do something about it. By trying to contact this person, maybe they know more or maybe they can guide me. So take a risk. I really love astrology and the tarot. It shows me everything. The astrocartography shows me where the best place is for you to live. So if you really, if you want some guidance or if you have any questions, then please do get in touch with me for a personal reading. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and share the video. Have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon.